What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Soapboxing with me, your host. So, uh, today's rant is going to be about the new re newly released uh, Trials of Osiris for Destiny. Okay? So, bear with me here. Alright, so, <laughs> I think it's fun, but I think the Sun Singer Warlocks need to be banned. I, they need to go. So, um, now this, this comes with a little background here. So, me and some friends, you know, we're super excited. We get into the whole Trials of Osiris, uh, this past weekend, right? Alright, let's do this. You know, we're gonna, now, now mind you, we're not terrible at PvP, but we're not really good, I will say. I'm gonna be honest, we're, we're not bad, but we're not bad by any means. We, we can do good. So, we go into, we got every type of class. We got a Hunter, we got a Hunt Titan, and a Warlock. All three classes, right? Okay, we got this, right? We got this, good. Or we know we're gonna because we got the bubble, or we got Titan Smash, you know. And then if, we, if need be, we have Sun Singer, and um, then we got the Golden Gun, right? So now we go into these matches, and I kid you not, out of probably the th out of the, I mean, probably eight matches we played. Now we lost all three. We didn't. We didn't get uh, very far. But out of the eight matches we played, probably seven out of the eight had at least two to three Sun Singer Warlocks. Now, this is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Okay? Destiny Bungie needs to disable the Sun Singer Warlocks for Trials of Osiris. Absolute bullshit. They're, that is the stupidest thing that the game is an elimination round, right? So if you get killed, you're supposed to be out, done. You're done to the next round, unless you get revived. So, Bungie's little thing with the Sun Singer Warlocks is absolute bullshit, because everyone's running Sun Singer Warlocks. So, we would go in, and we would do good. You know, okay, oh, there's a guy over there. Okay, bow, we get one down. All right, all right, so, you know, one's down, and we know they're all, like, right around the corner. Like, okay, they're, they're going to, because they're going to try and revive him, right? So then we kind of, me and my, all three of us now are still alive, so now it's three to two. And we bum rush him, kind of like, all right, let's do this. We go in. And we see, we get them torn, we grenade, we get our shotguns out, we start blasting them, and next thing you know, one guy dies. Right? Who who died? We all kind of like turn around to figure out what happened. It's because the Sun Singer revived behind us and just obliterated us. It's it, it it's unfair. It's a completely unfair, especially since the sense that there's only one character that, the character that can self revive. Other than that, everyone needs to be revived. So. It, Everyone runs that class because then it's like I don't need to be revived. I can just revive myself, which is it's just absolute bullshit. It's absolute bullshit like, because it's cheap for one. It, you put that hard work into taking a guy out, and you're like, yes, got a guy. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of guard his body, make sure no one tries to revive him. Oh, just kidding. He revives and he blasts that guy. Done. And it is the most unfair thing ever. And I, I mean, I I think it needs to go like now i mean it's it's personally after after that loss after we lost our matches you know and it kicked us out i think it must have been like for a one for the first week thing we turned in the ticket because it's like you've done you're done right so we turn our ticket and um whatever the brother guy from trials of osiris whoever leads the thing he gives us another one a fresh new one as if it's like hey here's like a second chance because i i thought bungie said that you had to like, if you lose, you had to do something to get back in. But he just gave us a new one so we can go back in if we wanted to. But my two uh, partners, they both were like, nope. Like, we don't want to. Like, why? we don't want to do it. We don't. We're. This is a stupid mode. And it, because of the fact that they can revive, it takes all the, all the kind of fun and strategicness out of it. Because it's like, well, I can pop you and then he's just going to sit there. And he's not going to self-revive until waiting for the moment. And I get the point of it. Like, it's the thought that, oh, hey, I can wait. And then I can just self-revive to sneak up on them, you know. But but it's it's unfair. If he gets self-revive, everyone should at least have a self-revive. Or at least get one self-revive for that sense. Because, why, like, what's the point of saying the mode you – it's an elimination mode where you have to be revived by your teammate. You, I mean – that just negates the whole purpose of the, you have to be revived because then everyone fucking runs Sun Singers. Everyone. Like I said, out of the eight matches we played, seven of the eight had at least a minimum of two to three Sun Singers. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that's just ridiculous. They can't lose, essentially. They cannot lose because it's like we pop one and we go in for the other ones. We pop the other one. They all just self-revive. And since they – for 
a little bit, they got like an overshield or, or they're like invincible for a little bit, then they just go around and wipe us. They just clean a clean house. And it, it's just not fair. Like, how do you defend that? You can't. It's like, oh, let me run away. Just kidding, because they're right behind me, blasting me in the back of the head. You, you know, it's it's unfair, and, and it just it makes it no fun, personally. I mean, I'm sure there's tons of people out there having fun with it, but me, and, and like I said, me and my friends, we after that, we were just like, we don't care to ever play this mode ever again. And that was a huge part of the expansion back. And I don't know. It really it really burned on us. And, and, and yeah, I don't know. That's my opinion. I, I think I, if if Bungie scrap, gets, disables the Sunsinger revive for Trials of Osiris, then we will probably get back into it and, and do it. Because it's as of right now, it's broken and unfair. The thought that they can just self-revive and we, you know, we can't. If you can make a ton, Titan and Hunter self-revive, cool. Let's do that. But the self-revive for them is just completely cheap and broken, and it makes it unfun. You know, unfun and unfair because, you know, we strategically are doing good. We're sitting here, oh, pop, pop, one guy down. All right, good. So then we're going we're gonna to watch his body, and then self-revive, dead. Like, it's it's not fun in the slightest, in the slightest. And, and, and it actually put us off to Destiny. We're like, we're done with this. We're done playing this game and this was like saturday night we're like we're done playing until the game, everything resets and then we'll do next week's nightfall and stuff and then we'll probably not play it for a while because it's not worth the headache and pulling out hair so my message to bungie is scrap it or disable it disable the sun singer and this or this the auto revive thing scrap that you know you can't be sun singer or you can be sun singer but you don't get to do that perfect do that then but if not then it is an absolute joke, and unfortunately, Death Bungie, you've lost three people when it comes to that PvP mode. Because I'm just gonna stick to regular PvP or Iron Banner because the, I would much rather do that. I'd re much rather play a mode of control or something um, with the revive rather than a mode that's labeled as elimination and you have to get revived to continue playing when you got people that can just self revive. Like why? Why bother then? Because it's it's just here I am sitting dead. I can't do anything. I need a teammate to come get me as a titan. And, you know, here I'm playing as a titan. I need someone to come revive me. And my hard work of taking out those two sun singers just went to shit because they could just boop back up. So um, I ho hopefully Bungie fixes it, fixes it. They're not going to. I'm 100 percent sure they're not going to touch that at all because the uproar in the community would be massive. And Bungie very much is about pleasing the community. So, I might be in the minority. I haven't seen too many people complain about this online, so I, I very much think I'm in the mind. Me and my friends are in the minority when it comes to this this little issue. But, yeah. Oh, well. So, that was today's episode of Soapboxing. Um, that was my mini rant. You know, I try and do these as frequently as I possibly can, but sometimes I just don't have time or I kind of don't have anything to rant about for said week, like last week. So, but keep it locked here to Two Broke Dudes channel. We're slowly growing it. We are trying our best to keep up with content. It's very tough working again. Uh, we're two broke dudes, but we have two broke jobs. So we're just doing our best. But, you know, keep it here on the channel. Check out the old videos we have that are kind of irrelevant now because it talks about video game news that goes out of date very quickly. Also, follow us on uh, uh, Twitch if you like watching us. We play tons of different games every uh Tuesday, Wednesday, me and me and my, me and my buddy Gil, we do Gil and Travis live, where we just pretty much stream any game we feel like playing for the night for about two hours. Um, can range from indies to AAA, single players to mul multiplayer to anything we want, really, anything we really want. So if you just feel like checking out random games, head over there to Twitch uh, Twitch slash Two Broke Dudes and check us out there. But till next time, guys, stay richer than us, like normal. <laughs>